Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Um, and let's just go ahead and get right to it. The first thing I seen was this. Okay, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it is a toy collector showcase. Okay. Um, I actually like this so much. I actually went back and got more. So, like, my haul is actually, like, two two or three different things. So, here it is. And it is nice. It's cute. I mean, you could use it for other stuff. But what I liked about it was, okay, it's got the two holes. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's two holes here. But they are able to... i got to figure out how to do it now. I, I untook it and I... They connect together. And it is pretty snug when you connect them together. And then you can put that on the wall. So that is pretty cool, I thought. And you could do as many as you want. Hang them on the wall. And there you go. Um, I went ahead and picked them up for Zach. But again, I might use them for something else. I don't know yet. So that I thought was kind of neat. Um, then I went ahead and I got Zach another smasher, which will go into his Easter basket, which I thought would be a good idea. You know, just like little grab bags or something. Then I found Hamilton Art Decorative Tape. Okay. This is the leopard print. And then I also, I wanted to see this, is the zebra print. The thing about this, which is, this is still cool, is it was with, it was not with the craft stuff. It was actually with the tool bench stuff, like the guy section. But look how cool that is. And I was going to use it on my journal. And uh, I'd gotten done with it before I even thought about it. But that's what hit me is that's why I grabbed the zebra one. And I, then I already got it all done. Which I still might put some in it. I don't know yet. So there are them tape. But I I know that... Um, let's see. I'm going to look at this. This Hamilton art decoration thing. It's 45 foot. Let's see if it'll go here. There you go. So I thought that was kind of... And they did have other ones other than animal print. Um, I just, at the time... I was just looking for this. I just one set mine, I guess. All right. So the next thing I had bought is um sorry this. <laughs> and you're gonna, Sabrina, what the heck is that? <coughs> oh man, sorry guys. Um, this is in the floor. It's called a floral foam. It's 0.9 inches by 12. Okay. This helps you. When I first... I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But after the fact of when I found it, I started thinking about um, when my mom does like dolls. Like crochets dolls. And sometimes the heads are wobbly and everything else. Even if she stuffs them. Well, I figured this would be... Instead of a dowel rod or something metal for like little kids and stuff, my mom could actually put this in the dowel. Like if it's a smaller dowel, she could cut this out. Um, but put it in the dowel so then the neck area is sturdy. So I got that. And then this isn't anything new, but it's the nautical rope. I have a project I'm going to be doing with this one. But this one is the smaller size. I did have the bigger size and... Um, it's too thick. I think it's in the other one, but the narrower size or the 3.4, um, M is 11.1 foot of rope. Throw that on the ground. So then I went and I, at the end of this, if it's not too, um, not too a big of a one, I don't care. At the end of this video, um, I will give you an idea of when I went to the Dollar Tree and show you the rest of these. 
Alright, so I went, and I don't know why. I am all about... Yes, I do know. My mom does a lot of stuff with... Um, I ended up getting two, sorry guys. Um, material. So, um, I, they have new material. And look at this. This is cute. I think it'd be cool for... It's like little lightning bolts. This would have been cute, cute to put in my um, Disney Lightning McQueen book. That's what I was like. That would have been so cool. But anyways, these are the squares, 18 by 21. So there is this one. Then I bought two of this one. And I will. Op I have them open because my mom and I looked through them already. Look how pretty the unicorn is. So I bought two of this one. Then I I don't I did not open these, but they're just tie dye. I I thought they were look at look how gorgeous the tie dye is. They did have yellow, green, and I believe orange. Um. And like I said, I will show you at the end of the video. I I had shown all of the colors and everything that there was there. I found a rainbow, which was kind of cool. I thought it would be. So I went ahead and picked one of them up. All right. And then like an army, black and gray, white army pattern. Um, so I picked one of them up. They are stepping up their game. Then look at the little doggies. So then I picked this. I didn't buy every single one, which sometimes I wish I would have. But I kind of just bought the ones I thought I may use or my mom may use. They had a bicycle one. Thought that was kind of neat. And of course, they did have a blue truck one. And it kind of reminded me of the, kind of like of the one around um, Christmas time. But I went ahead and I picked up two of that. My mom and I loved going through this. Gave her something occupied because my mom has surgery today. Today is Tuesday. Then... This is gorgeous. Look at the butterflies. I thought they were really pretty. And if this, if Friday comes, it happens. I'm only pretty much going to the Dollar Tree. Probably in the after, in like twice a week. And that's, that's even if that's possible. I have two more to show you. And look at the light kitty one. And this is what caught my eye is the pastel boots and buckets with the little kitties. They had a whole bunch of pastels, um, like spring type of look. So just to let you know, if you're into the materials for any kind of reason, books or anything else, please be on the lookout for that. Um, oh, I got a Walmart bag. That's not what you want to see. Um, I did already open some of the stuff because I've used it in a project. But I did find these little eggs, the egg picks. Um, there is four in each, I believe. Yes, four in each. See the kitties? <laughs> little mongrels. Um, and I like them. These are these. They actually hit my thing. I they also have a blue, and I have a blue somewhere. It's probably way in one of these other bags. But they also had blue. I, I picked up every color. So it's blue, green, pink, and purple. It's like a light blue. Like a pastel I guess. Blue. Oh, speak of the devil. I said I, and right there's the, or powder blue, I guess that's what I want to say. So I thought this was kind of neat. Um, I wish they just had one of each color in the thing instead of, you know, four of each. 
it was fine if you would have had four of each, but like one of each color, so then that's all I would have needed. Then they come up with, I about, I haven't opened them yet, patterns, guys. There's a tote pattern. Okay. Let's open it. I haven't really opened it. My mom and I haven't opened it. And it, it's a pattern type thing. And I, it is neat. My mom does a, a lot of this. I thought this would be one of the cool ones. Um, I don't know if there was more than that. But this is a sewing tote project. And it's a tote. Um, an apron. And then look at the bear. So these are actually for my mom. It's called a memory bear easy apron and a tote. So I don't know if the colors mean something. Like if they mean easy, hard, oh my goodness type one. I, don't, I have no idea. But um, designed and printed in the United States. That, that's something, right? I'm throwing everything on my floor. This ought to be fun cleaning it up. Then I thought these were adorable. Um, they are scrunchies, of course. And yes, I only bought one piece. And I know they come, there are some that come with like three. But they have these like little butterflies. And I just thought they looked really pretty. Especially if I'm going to craft with them. Um, it, I don't care if it's a dollar twenty-five be honest but they were one piece or you put them in I was even thinking you know if you put them in to like a Easter basket for a little girl instead of just having just a regular color this is just a little fancier way I needed to get some more utility like knife so I went ahead and picked the three pack up I have the other one I'm just eh, I don't know um then I found a called, it's a marker, and it's called Liquid Outline Marker. Silver ink with colorful outline. I don't know. I figured there's got to be something I can, we can write on here. And I figured I would show you during the thing. All right, so you got to get the the thing. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, it is. Let's see how it That is so cool. So there is this it's silver in the inside and blue around the outside and I will show you guys just just a minute. Woo, that one is not good. Um, guys, I want to show you what happened. Look how, like, all of a sudden it just, like, bombarded. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. Just be very careful when you push down to start the marker. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do a line. And then I will do my name again. Just all I'm saying is be very careful when you. But I think that is kind of cool. I hope that shows the color. To be totally honest. But woo! When that comes through. Look at that. That's how bad that did that. Yeah. So. And I, the only thing I didn't like is, a, like, they were really dirty. Every single one of these markers looked like they'd been sitting in a warehouse for a while. So, just to give you that little heads up. And I think I would keep them like this if you're buying them. And not lay them flat. That's just my opinion. So you can do what you want. All right, the other day I had bought some earrings, and I believe I showed you guys. They had the Lord's Prayer on it. They actually have the necklace that had the Lord's Prayer 
um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassing, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. So, if you guys didn't know what the, the thing was, I just decided to read it. So, it's right there, and then it's also in the on the necklace. <clears throat> Then I found, and I know that Baker's Twine, they come in different times, and sometimes you can find the big thing of Baker Twine, and I do too, but, and I have seen them, but they had these out, and I figure sometimes you just want a little of a color instead of a whole bunch. So they have the, I would say maybe the lime green. This is actually a purple, like a dark purple the yellow, orange, um, a blue, and like, I don't know, a fuchsia. And there's 20 yards in each of the Baker's Twine. 20 yards. And I think I got one of every color. I'm pretty sure. One of every color. Ooh, I just got the hiccup in my store. All right. The next thing I had found, and I, I, there's one thing that I'm on the hunt for and I have not found yet, so, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, I have a wish list, but I found these, like, garland eggs, which I thought they were cute. I'm going to take them apart to do a project, but I thought they were really cute. They are plastic, though, I, you know. When I seen them on the first video, I seen them. I thought they were wood, to be totally honest. But it'd be cute even just to have it on this. And just to actually put something in, maybe in between every couple egg. <clears throat> and I don't know if I'll get to every Easter thing I want to do. But I am sure going to try. I picked up two signs. And this is my one sign. And it said, Happy Easter, Cottontail farm and fresh eggs I'm gonna try to, so you guys can see it the only thing sometimes I don't like about these are that they do have a tendency just because of what the board is to um, warp um, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with this or I mean I could add a little bit of color to it I'm not quite for sure yet but whatever I do it probably be in the pastel type thing I like pastels around the springtime the other one I chose was this one um, and I thought it was just cute as heck so them are the two signs I found that I liked so I went ahead and picked them up I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to um, pick just things up to show you or stuff that I'm gonna use and like because uh, uh, <clears throat> then I'd have to sell it and yeah I'm coming down to that point that I don't want to do that anymore um, I found a sanding block <clears throat> and um, sandpaper 10 sheets no you know I normally use that little square block that they have and I don't even know where mine is right now but I thought this would be cool if I needed a much more of a sanding thing now what I did f look at is it is the Tool bench brand and it comes with sandpaper. I'm like, oh well they have sandpaper there. Um it's not long enough to use on this. So just to give you that little heads up and it shows you how to do it in the back. Um uh, I found these. Look at these little Carrots. I thought they were cute and adorable. Found them carrots. And then I also found the pick carrot. Um, only just picked up one of each. And see what I I'm gonna see what I can try to do with them. And a couple oh wait, nope. I bought 
one more of this one because I thought because of the smaller but I they are really cute if you wanted to do like an Easter tree I think they'd be cute they remind me of like a a baby bottle like brush so Zach got a haircut and he I have a hard time brushing his hair well here is a brush that he he thinks that will work with his hair so we went and picked that up and I am almost done guys these are some cute things I found I'm going to show you the two ribbons these are the two ribbons I went ahead and picked up it looked like um, a honeycomb type thing for little bees is it gonna there it goes and then look the little bees my thought is if I did a um, Disney journal or a Winnie the Pooh little golden book journal wouldn't this look cute in there with Winnie the Pooh and the little honeybees and stuff there was my thought I found this ribbon I like just because of how it looked. Okay. Last but not least, I found, look at these. It's a garland egg. It's different, like, multicolor. Ging I think it's called gain gingham. So I found this one. And then I found the bunnies that are the that do the same okay then I found the black and white I had not seen anybody haul these but these look very cute as I figure you don't have to do it like this you can just use these on individual things of what you want I did pick up one of each of this one and two of this one and that's guys I believe let me look and make sure yeah. Yep, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, um, I will put at the end and show you how our Crafter Square aisle has went.
and show you the extra fabrics that I didn't do. So guys, I hope you had a great time with this and I hope you enjoyed something and maybe you can find something that your Dollar Tree that I found. Guys, until next time, please stay safe and keep crafting. And bye for now.